After two straight losses to Robert Morris and Bowling Green, it felt like the panic meter was rising here in Athens. Well, at least to the fans and the people outside of the team, players and coaches still confident. But after two losses, there were three things Ohio, it appeared they desperately needed to improve on. The first being three-point field goal percentage. It had been very low in the last two losses. On the flip side of that, the opponent's field goal percentage had been up over 50% in the Bobcats' last two losses. And third and finally, not something you can really measure, but toughness. Gross called out this team's toughness severely after the Bowling Green loss. They weren't blocking out on rebounds, and they were getting out-hustled on any 50-50 balls. Well, two for three tonight. The Bobcats win it 60-52 to over the Buffalo Bulls. Bobcats open up the game on a 12-0 start thanks to Nick Kellogg was three for four from behind the arc. But then they close out the half missing nine straight to be three of 13. So the three-point field goal percentage not solved yet. The Bobcats just five of 22 on the night, but that's okay. They held the, the Bulls to just 38% shooting and out-rebounded the third best team in the nation a team that out-rebounds its opponent by about nine boards per game. Ohio wins the battle on the glass 42-39. Key stretch in this game, Bobcats open it up after the first media timeout with a 16-5 run in about a seven-minute span. Led by number five point guard DJ Cooper with seven of Ohio's 16 points. That put the Bobcats up 15 points, their largest lead of the night, and they never looked back. Bulls never really threatened after that, and Ohio hung on to win it 60-52. Gross called out this team's toughness after the loss to Bowling Green. He wanted to see some hustle plays. He wanted to see a tougher team. He certainly got it here tonight. And student athletes, you know, don't like for their toughness to be questioned. And I, I kind of called us out on that a little bit on Saturday. So in all fairness, you know, I, I, I think, you know, a lot of people were wondering about the response of our guys. Uh, come, you know, dealing with some adversity in the last couple games, and I think you saw it tonight. Doesn't show up in the stat books tonight, but Walter Offit embodied the team's toughness. Had a few dives for loose balls, hit the deck a few times, taking some charges. Even the Bulls agreed they got outworked tonight. I thought Ohio outworked us. Uh, I thought they um, they out hustled us at every opportunity. Um, and they they did a tremendous job. I thought we were really tough. Um, I thought our defense was exceptional, you know, as good as it maybe has been all year for the f full duration of a game. I thought our rebounding against a team that's plus 10 rebound margin and among the best nationally was off the charts. Um, I thought our energy level was tremendous. Another key number that jumps out from tonight's game, Javon McCray held to just four rebounds. Dude was averaging seven boards, is almost a double-double machine for the Bulls. He's held to four boards. Big part of that, John Smith, six offensive rebounds tonight, 10 rebounds total for him tonight. Ohio owned the glass. They only win 42-39 in the Battle of the Rebounds, but they were up as much as 7-10 and 10 for parts of this game. DJ Cooper led the way with 15 points. Nick Kellogg right behind with 14 points on his four three-pointers made. And Evo Baltic, the last Bobcat in double figures, had 12 points and seven rebounds tonight. A guy that doesn't always get a ton of boards, but seven. I think John Gross will take it. Next up for the Ohio Bobcats, a 4 p.m. tip Saturday afternoon against Akron on the road in the jar. Follow us up there. We will be there. Matt Archibald for the Bobcats Sports Showcase. We'll see you in Akron.